Okay, for those of you who missed class today because of something really important like a park test, here's the grammar uh, lesson that we went over. Um, up to chapter 17, uh, I threw out the whole orange book. Uh, everything we've seen was in the present tense. Chintilla is preparing dinner. Flaccus is tired. Uh, uh, Quintus is working. Um, now chapter 17, we're going to learn the past tenses. We're going to learn two of them at once, uh, but um, don't worry. It's not like learning them in a modern language where you have to decide when to use which tense. Uh, we're reading Latin, uh, therefore you just have to be able to recognize it, um, understand it, and, uh, and be able to translate it into English. So anyway, here we go. Cartoon capture number one, we'll have both. Quintus ad ludum ambulabat. Subito gaim vidit. Uh, so right away, our new, two new tenses. Quintus ad ludum ambulabat. Quintus was walking to school. And maybe we'll say, um, we can label that and call that the past uh, uh, ongoing, the ongoing past. He was walking. Maybe he was walking for hours. Maybe he was walking day, all day. Quintus ad ludum ambulabat. Subito, suddenly, gaim vidit. Suddenly he saw Gaius. That is a simple, completed action. He saw Gaius. Uh, and there are the two tenses. Was walking. Could have been doing it for hours. Vidit. He saw it. The action is completed. Okay? That's uh, cartoon caption number two. Gaius arborem ascendebat. Ascendebat. Gaius was climbing the tree. Maybe he was. Here he is. Maybe he was doing it for hours. Ascendebat. Quintus ad aborum festina vit. Quintus hurried to the tree. Not hurrying. He wasn't hurrying all day. He hurried. It's a simple, completed action. And here you can pay attention to the form because this will uh, look like most of the verbs we're learning in this chapter. Ascende bat. Bat. Versus festina vit. Vit. Quintus. Quintus hurried to the tree. Okay, let's keep going. Cartoon caption number four. Quintus anxius erat. Now, uh, we actually saw the sentence before. We saw uh, flacus anxius est, uh, which kind of weirdly says flacus is anxious. Flacus, remember, like chapter two or something. Flacus anxius est. But no longer asked. Now we have erat, which makes more sense, past tense. He was anxious. Clamavit. There it is again. Sounds a lot like festinavit. Therefore, we'll say um, shouted. So do you see it? Fest he hurried. That's the simple past. Not was climbing, but hurried. Clamavit. Uh, shouted. And then we want, don't want to forget about Latin 1 or about the red orange book. Quid facis, what are you doing? That's the present tense, guy. Descende, there's the command form, get down. What are you doing? Get down. Now, those are old forms. The new ones are clamavit. He shouted. So the vit is showing us that simple completed tense. Gaius aim audivit. Gaius, so you know audire is to hear, so audivit. Gaius heard him. A terram redit, he returned to the ground. Uh, that form's a little odd. That's the simple completed tense that we're learning. Um, but uh, we don't really look at that form till next chapter, so don't worry about it right now. Quintumque salutavit. And he greeted Quintus. So there it is again, the simple past. So to recap, we learned two new tenses. Ambulabat was walking. Uh, Ascendebat was climbing. And then finally, uh, festinavit, hurried, clamavit, uh, shouted, audivit, heard. Okay, now let's just tabulate what we learned. So uh, if um, the present tense, you have to remember from the orange book, uh, parat, shintilla chenam parat, the ongoing past tense we just learned. Uh, let's take a look. Um, Ashendebat, uh, uh, where's another one? Ambulabat, was walking to school all for hours, was climbing the tree for hours. Uh, that's bat. And then the simple past tense may have v, festinavit, 
uh, we'll learn about uh, which ones have the vo sound in a bit. So here they are. Amat, amabat was loving. Amavit loved. Okay, and uh, now uh, so ongoing present, ongoing past. These are cousins. So notice uh, they have the same stem. Uh, ama is the stem. And the ending, uh, maybe it's a little bit of a simplification, but we'll say the ending is bat. So uh, they're cousins. They have the same stem, ama. Um, and the bat is showing the ongoing past. Whereas this has a different stem. We'll call that later the completed stem or the perfect stem. Perfect means completed in Latin. So amav, the v sound is showing you have completed action. Now, uh, we translated it in the cartoon captions as hurried, saw, hurried, uh, greeted, salutavit. Uh, but Latin is really concerned with whether the action is completed or not. So this is, we can call it the simple completed tense. Therefore, it could be uh, fell, he fell off the tree, or he has fallen, both of which show completed action. Just keep those two translations in, in mind. Okay, and uh, so he is loving, he was loving, he loved, or he has loved. Is loving, was loving, loved, or has loved. Okay, uh, now how do you recognize them? This one's simple enough, but, was loving, but. This one is simple enough too, v, amavit, he loved. Uh, but there's a, a further complication. They're not all vit, as we saw in the cartoon captions. Um, and let me just cut to the chase. Uh, here are the uh, the four. Well, I just made it four conjugations. I left uh, the mixed out for now. Here are four conjugations. You, oops, that's a mistake. Let me fix that. Hold up. Okay. Here are four conjugations. First, second, third, and fourth. I skipped the mixed, the third I/O. Uh, for now. We'll add it in later. Um, and you remember the vowel in the present tense is different for the four conjugations. And then these two irregular verbs we want to deal with now. Uh, asked he is, eat he's going. And so here they are. In the uh, So you'll see the ongoing uh, past tense is no problem. They're pretty much the same for every conjugation. Amabat, monebat, mitebat, audiebat. Um, notice this uh, is maybe perhaps unexpected because third conjugation is, is odd. You may have noticed it's not mitibat, but mitebat. It's almost as if it's acting like a second mitebat. But th that's a minor thing, right? Mitebat. Uh, the bat is what's really signaling something. That is the ongoing past tense. And remember, uh, that is called imperfectum which is, I think we could say, ongoing, not completed, as opposed to completed. So the not completed past tense, the completed past tense. Um, or better, the ongoing past tense, the completed past tense. Um, ye bat, i.e., just please make note of that. And then irregular ones for this irregular ver these irregular verbs, erat, it doesn't sound terribly different than ama bat, it just doesn't have a b. Errat. It has the same vowel, at, at, errat. He was. So he is an S, he was an S. And then the completed ones, uh, many of them, as I, as we said, uh, is V, ama, vit. So almost all first conjugation verbs have the V sound. And many fourth conjugations have the V sound, au, di, vit. Ama, vit, au, di, vit. Now, if you remember, Romans wrote V, uh, U as V. So this uh, would have looked the same to them, so, uh, w but it's pronounced differently. We're going to say monuit, monuit. So v, u, and then in the third conjugation, we're going to see there's there's some variety. Uh, for now, we're learning ones that have an s sound, mizit. So s, many of them end in s, and also it, it, suppose it were a word like dix, uh, uh, dicere, dicere. Uh, I would spell the S sound with an X, dixit, but it's still an S sound. So therefore, the stem for the completed, the completed stem, in third conjugation, like mito, mitere, many are S. Uh, 
which is sometimes spelled X. X. Therefore, uh, the short answer is uh, amavit, monuit, misit, audivit, v u s or x. Oh, completed, sorry, another error. That's better. Fuit and eat. Fuit. The completed stem for the verb essay, for the verb essay, is fu, f u. Sorry. Uh, so, um, fuit. Now, what's the difference between errat and fuit? Uh, not a big one. So, uh, you might think of them uh, as being used interchangeably, although, uh, so, he is an ass, he was an ass, he was an ass. Although this one really belongs to the ongoing past, so the aspect will be ongoing. Quintus was being silly all period. He was silly all period. Era. He was silly. Uh, let's say Quintus is serious now. You say, oh yeah, last year he was silly. The emphasis, you're emphasizing that it's completed. Um, so it's not a big difference. Was, was. Of course, this could also be has been, just like we were saying before. Completed, perfect, perfectum, could be, it's just concerned with completed aspect. So the book fell or the book has fallen. So this could be he was an ass, he's not anymore, versus he has been an ass, both of which have completed aspect. Okay, and I think that's it. There's still uh, some business to talk about. These are all third person. Uh, he or she was loving. He or she loved. Uh, we have to learn I, you, he, we, you, they, uh, but not now because we're already at 12 minutes. Okay, valete.